we're heading to Lynchburg, Tennessee. And these backcountry roads that get you there are just like you might imagine. And here it is, the entrance to the distillery, at least the visitor center portion. And we're greeted with barrels everywhere. And that must be old Jack himself. Wow, there's a lot to look at just in the lobby. So let's purchase tickets. In the waiting area, they have some interesting displays, different bottles going all the way back to the mid-1800s. Look at that. Wow. That's an interesting bottle from 1905. And we can even have lemonade. Tennessee hospitality. That's Buddy the Beagle. I've been told he just wanders around town, comes for his pets, and apparently to take a nap. Here we can place a pin for where we come from. So I'm right up here. <laughs> I gotta leave my mark, right? And here is another bottle collection. Almost too much to take in. Wow. It's not all Jack Daniels. There's some different. Oh, I guess it is Jack Daniels. Just a different brand. It looks like these displays talk to Tennessee heritage. Very interesting. They talk about the cooperage, the different barrels. The first one you see here is raw oak, toasted oak, and charred oak. And from those barrels come these different whiskeys. New whiskey is clear, and then they have the different types of barrels that the whiskey came from and you can see the different coloration. This display explains the mellowing process. And here's the whiskey before mellowing. And you can open the lid. Smell that. And after mellowing. Did you smell the difference? And that sugar maple charcoal that it all drips through. Here's the entire process on one table. From milling and mashing, to fermenting and distilling. Look at that still. That is really cool. To mellowing and barreling. There's so much in the lobby, I almost feel like I don't have to go on the tour. This really gets you excited and it builds anticipation for the tour. I can't wait. And free lemonade. What a better way to say welcome to our home. On his 21st birthday, he left town and returned dressed like a gentleman and continued to dress that way for the rest of his life. He was only five foot two. There you go. Come here. Come here, boy. We start the tour by getting on a bus. Over 20,000 barrels in that one barrel house right there alone. And we have over 90 of those here, Jack. You have 90, 90 barrel houses? We have over 90. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Yeah. Our new one took 67,000 barrels of whiskey in there, which is 3.7 million gallons of whiskey in each barrel house. We got all of our sugar maple right here within 70 miles here, Jack. Sugar maple tree, sugar maple tree, sugar maple tree. It's around here everywhere. Okay, Jack Daniels used to make his own charcoal right over here in this little parking lot, right where the car's pulling in. Only thing different from him doing it there and us doing it here is that EPA approved hood. Sugar maple charcoal. Look at it all. So we keep about a thousand racks of sugar maple here at all times, right? Drying it out. Uh, the drier the wood, the hotter it burns, the more charcoal you make. It's gonna burn from the inside out, it's gonna collapse on itself. If you went to Willy Walker, you'd try the chocolate, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Now, it ain't about sticking in your mouth. 140 yeah. proof whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you want to do is you want to rub your hands together. Okay? Smell it. Ooh. Smell the grain in it? Yeah. Barrel house for four years, you would have Jack Daniels bourbon whiskey. So we go one step further than bourbon does. Alright? And we filter our whiskey through sugar maple charcoal that looks like this. Dripping 140 proof whiskey on the top of it. Okay, coming out the bottom four to six days later, clear as it went in, still 140 proof Tennessee whiskey. Yeah. That 140 proof was actually not that bad. Uh, to think it hadn't been filtered or aged or anything. I guess it's moonshine, right? And there's old Jack. Now we're going to go look at the spring. Apparently all of the whiskey is made with this spring water. <laughs> wow. Spring right there folks that's why we are still here in 2019 in 170 different countries the number one selling whiskey in the world coming out of that k spring right there so that goes on and on and on miles and miles underground not only is it good for making whiskey but it's really picturesque isn't it says come up and get a picture so I'm gonna do it since nobody else seems to want to there we go and by the way I'm really sorry that I put my hands in that charcoal because they're all black now and I can't rub it off live and learn by the way did you hear the joke he said if you get your camera out this is a place on the tour where you can get a free shot of Jack on the rocks <laughs> I love it Jack on the rocks get it Here's where we're heading next. <laughs> it is the working office for Jack Daniels Distillery until 1952. In 52, we just moved to that brick building we're going to pass by here in a minute. Okay? Now, Jack, remember, he's making whiskey when you're a screen over the Call Family Farm, buys the still from Call, brings the operation here, has to put a whole new crew together when he gets here. This crew right here puts together. It's a good looking bunch. Hey. He also brings his best friend with him. Nearest Green's son is named George. George Green, Jack and his best friend since he's eight years old, is sitting down right there. <laughs> his father taught Jack Daniels how to make whiskey. Now he's sitting down next to his best friend that's standing right here, Jack. All standing. five foot two standing. He yeah. only been standing. <laughs> 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 right. Still a members of the Green family here today, 153 years later, working with us. This is where he kept all his money, letters, recipes, anything of value to him was in his safe. And it also killed that man right there. He gets mad, tries again, still can't get in his own safe. Got so mad that third time he lost his little temper. And he jumped up, hauled off, and kicked it. Breaks his big toe. 
When Lev comes in, how you doing, Uncle Jack? Well, I'm doing well. He opens the door up, gets everything out. We're right back to business as usual. Jack gets his letter out the door. He goes, he kicks this in 1905. And over the next six years, like most men here, ain't going to see no doctor in the early 1900s over no broke tub. He will have to let that baby off. He let gang green send in a blood poison and had to start amputating then to save his life. They take off his toes, cut off his foot, and saw off his leg. Right before he passed away in 1911, he was 61 years old. He tried sawing him off at the hip to save his life. It didn't work. He passed away. Now, I know that seems like a pretty grim story in here today, but I've learned something out of this. I'm going to pass it along to everyone in here. You don't pay to show up work early. Now we have to turn on the cameras. And in there, that is a factory. And I kind of suspect one of the reasons they don't want you bringing cameras in there is because they want to preserve their down-home image. They don't want to look like a factory. Jack Daniels actually makes its own barrels and then they sell them after they're done being used. There's some Cooper's tools. The craftsman prepares the barrel for its hand. The boots are put on. The bottom holes are removed. The barrel tested for leaks. And inspected under a Cooper's watchful eye. There it's heated. When it comes off, that seals in place. Check this out, they box by hand. Right behind them is where the bottles are getting filled. Well, they, don't, they didn't have the equipment they do now either. So now we're in the barrel house. All of these barrels are empty. These are ones we can take pictures of. The ones in the other room we we're asked not to take pictures of. And those were the full barrels. We said they were going to be the green label. And this is the room where we get to drink. The guest room everyone's been waiting for. So there it is. There's our tasting. Apparently we have Gentleman's Jack, number seven, rye, Tennessee honey, and Tennessee fire. He's teaching us how to drink whiskey. Oh my goodness, is that syrupy and sweet. Mm -hmm. I think that would be more of a mix. Way too syrupy for my taste. Let's see. Very apple. Really does. It tastes like a sweet apple. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the flavor. And we are all done. Time to leave. Inside here.
here, there is a bottle shop that happens to have commemorative bottles, which happens to have free whiskey inside every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why they call it a bottle shop instead of a liquor store. Okay, ah, so be sure you check it out. It's called a loophole. All right? Buy your photo in here. You can also go to jackdaniels.com and get your group photo for free for about two months. Right. He was explaining this is the Frank Sinatra. And if you notice, there's notches in all those. You see, you get different flavors from both the char and the unchard. And there's Old Blue Eyes. Of course, like any tour, we exited through the gift shop. But we did get a free glass, so let's take a look at that. I did take all of my uh, glasses that I tasted from as well. But this is, the, they say free, but of course you, you paid, what was it $25 for the tour? That's kind of nice. I don't know how well you can see this, but it says Jack Daniels Old Number 7. And then it has that little slogan on there about every day we make it, we make it the best we can. Jack Daniels. It's kind of a square glass similar to the square bottle. So I want to thank you all for joining me on this tour. I had a really good time. I thought it was really interesting. I know you didn't get to get inside all of the buildings, but at least we got to see the bottling of the single barrel. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Leave your comments down below and ring that bell icon up above. That way you'll know when I post new videos. From Lynchburg, Tennessee, and the Jack Daniels Distillery. I'm Mark with the Avid Me Channel.